Welcome to SQL Server Analysis Services 123 Perspectives. This will be a rather short video because perspectives are actually fairly simple. And I think once you see a demonstration of them and learn a little bit more about them, you'll understand how to use them, why they're useful, and exactly how easy they are to work with. So perspectives. This is a way to really reduce cube complexity. It is a way to name a portion of the cube in a sense and show only certain dimensions and measure groups and measures and KPIs and actions and calculated members and I'll show you the complete list here coming up in, in just a moment. But it is a good way to make it easier especially for end users using some client tool to work with the data and uh, just, just simplify their whole cube experience. Now, perspectives don't require any of their own storage other than just the definition to define them to when, when you first create them. So you can add as many as you want to a cube. Uh, I guess there's some limit, but uh, you can add a number to the cube, and it's really not doing anything to increase the storage beyond just a, a few bytes. So it may sound like, well, these are a lot like views in a relational database. And in one way, they're very similar. They're similar to relational views in that they can narrow down what you see in a particular cube. Just like in a relational database, you could leave out certain columns from a table. But where perspectives differ significantly from views in a database, it's in two ways. One is a view in a relational database can combine multiple tables into one, and perspectives cannot combine multiple cubes into one. It is a cube-based piece of functionality, so you can't span cubes with a single perspective. The other thing, and this is a big one, is that perspectives are not a securable object. And what that means is I can't create a perspective that narrows down a cube and then assign roles to that in analysis services role-based security. In the relational world, I can build a view on top of one or more tables and then grant people permissions to the view, but not the underlying tables. You don't have any concept like that in analysis services perspectives cannot have security applied to them. The security is still applied at the cube level. So that is one of the major differences. And honestly, it's one of the frustrations a lot of people have in analysis services when they first learn about perspectives. They're like, oh, that's great. I'll just build the perspective with exactly what this group of users should see, and I'll assign a role to that. And then they find out you can't do it. So enough of uh, talking about perspectives. Let's actually get into a demonstration and look at what they are, how you set them up, and then how you would actually use them in a client tool. Here in BI Dev Studio, I have the AdventureWorks cube already pulled up. This is just the sample that Microsoft sends uh, or, or produces, with the exception of I took out the data mining pieces. But otherwise, it's the cube. And you can see from this that the cube itself is fairly complex. There are uh, a number of measure groups over here along the left hand side and each of those contains a few to quite a few measures. So just from that perspective this is a fairly complex cube. So again you look at it you have a number of dimensions as well and of course all the measure groups here along the top. In addition you have a number of calculated members. Some of those calculated members there are some name sets in here as well but Again, uh, and there are KPIs and actions, and, and so again, this is a fairly complex cube from that standpoint. And one of the things that you have to understand is that as a technical person, it's not too complex to, to deal with, but a lot of times users would have problems with a cube with this many dimensions and measure groups, especially when there are some dimensions that don't tie to all the measure groups, and it's easy for them to get confused with that. So the answer to this are the perspectives. Now, one thing I did with the analysis services, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the AdventureWorks sample here is I did remove the existing perspectives. There are some in there. But basically, when you create a cube, if you come into the perspectives tab, this shows you everything. And it shows you the cube objects, what type of object it is. And you'll notice what all is available here. There are, there's the cube itself, there are measures, then all the measure groups and the measures within those. Then you have the dimensions and Within the dimensions, if you expand this, you will see all of the hierarchies and attributes. And if I keep scrolling down here, you'll see the additional items there, the KPIs, the actions, the calculations. So 
all of these items are available for you to turn off and on in a perspective. So I'll click the button here for a new perspective. And if you remember about this particular cube, there are two kinds of sales. Sales over the internet, where we know who the end customer is, and sales through a reseller channel, where we don't have, know who the end customer is, but we have a reseller. We also have an employee that we don't have with internet sales. So if you wanted to say that this perspective is going to be tied just to internet sales, what I can do is I'll come in here and I'll leave all the internet sales on, but for whatever reason I might say, well, I don't want them to see standard product costs. That's proprietary information. Internet orders and internet customers are fine. Sales reasons are fine, but reseller sales, notice I'll just click the measure group and turn that and all of the measures off in it. I'll then come down and again, same thing, reseller orders, uh, we'll take out the sales summary and sales orders and sales targets and just some other pieces just to give you an example. Uh, but I'll leave exchange rates in there. Just, you know, again, uh, showing you what some of these examples are. Now I could come down here and I can do the same thing with dimensions. I know that they don't need to see the reseller dimension. They wouldn't need to see uh, the reseller sales order details. And again, I could turn on and off various ones. And within a particular dimension, for example, the customer, I could come in here and remove, for example, the yearly income column or attribute if I wanted to. Same thing down here, I could keep going. I can remove individual KPIs from them. And uh, none of these really, uh, I'm not too worried about any. I'll just show a removal of a few. Same thing down here with actions. And of course, then finally the calculations. So I'll just, uh, normally I would unclick any that had resellers in them, so I'll just run through and, and grab a few. So this is a, now a perspective called Internet Sales. And what it's going to look like, and I, I could create more, I could add one called Reseller Sales, where I show all the resellers' measures and, and remove the Internet Sales measures. But what's going to happen is when I now publish this cube to the server, client tools will see the cube and the perspectives and, and they will look like the same kind of object basically. A lot of the client tools show this one's a cube and this one's a perspective but it doesn't really matter they treat them the same way and you can analyze with them. So I'm going to pause the video but go ahead and publish this and pull this up in a client tool uh, Excel in this case and show what it looks like. So I have deployed this particular database now if I go into Excel and connect to the server, then I will pick, I rename this to My ADV Works. And you'll notice that, in fact, the cube does show up, but the Internet Sales Perspective that I just created shows up as well. So if I click on this and go in and actually finish making the connection, then what this will do is go ahead and create a pivot table for me. But again, it's going to be simplified. It's not going to show all of the reseller sales measures and the dimensions that I took out. So it simplifies this view of the world that other people have. You'll notice the only measure groups, exchange rates, which I left in, and then the internet customers, internet orders, and internet sales. And the idea behind this is, look, you know, as a user, if I knew how to open that, of course, I could have just opened the cube. But if I'm creating reports for other people, say in Excel, or particularly in Performance Point, I just tie to one of those perspectives. The nice thing about Performance Point is the user can't change the cube or perspective that that report is connected to. They have the ability to pivot and drill across and drill through and drill up and down and, and really manipulate it, but they would be locked into only the perspective you used when you first created that report. So for end user tools like this, it is really nice to help simplify their view of the world and uh, I, I try to focus a lot on making the analysis easier for end users, especially non-technical end users, because they're the ones that tend to struggle with really complex cubes. So in summary, perspectives are there just to limit what can be seen in a particular cube. You can create multiple per perspectives per cube, and they simply narrow down that scope and allow you to basically create different miniature cubes in a sense. They're, they're just logical views, but uh, it, it can let you target those particular views to certain users. The, the big drawback for a lot of people is that these are not securable. 
I'm going to cover security in the next videos that I do and how you actually set it up in the cube and the product team at Microsoft believes that that's the proper place for security is back in the cube itself it will flow through to perspectives just fine but I cannot assign a role just to a particular perspective again typically uh, most useful in a pre-formatted report Excel or performance point services which has the analytic chart and analytic grid you can assign that just to a perspective and then someone using it has a much simpler view of that particular cube and with that thank you very much